let's wash another truck today. Ta-da! Just like that, the truck is... Three, two, one. Ta-da! And just like that, the truck is washed. Now, it has taken me most of the day to do this. I started at, uh, what, 10 o'clock this morning, and it is now... It's almost 4 o'clock. Uh, and that's because I got sidetracked on some carpentry work at uh, my daughter's house. Uh, my brother came down and wanted to uh, do some uh, trim work uh, inside the house. So I stopped to help him do that. Then I've got back to this. So finally, both trucks are washed and it doesn't look like I'm going to need them the next seven to 10 days, at least according to the long range forecast. I can probably take that spreader off of the truck since that's the easy one to take off i can go in right with my skid steer pick it up and take it off the truck so probably tomorrow i'll take that off because i think i need to take more straw to the hardware store all right i think it's uh, time to clean up here and adult beverage time Whoa, that's a heavy seat. I don't think the new one is as heavy as that one. I am finally getting to this new seat and putting it in this tractor. So here's the uh, up and down mechanism. I don't think I need this base. There are no instructions with this seat installation, but I think I can figure it out. That base is a whole lot shorter than what is in there, but I don't think I need it. Uh, this seat is just going to attach to that this part is going to attach to the base that is in there as you saw i just took the old seat out and uh now i just have to take this base off and put the new one in put the seat on top and it should be that simple I'm not sure if the other base is going to be as easy to put in as this was to take out because this one has the nuts uh, welded right on top of there. I think the other one, I have to put the nuts on there myself and hold them. You know, I'm almost tempted to take these two rails out and then just sit a, a uh, sit a five gallon bucket here for our next snowstorm and my guy that's been driving this tractor for me uh, probably for the last 15 or 20 years during snow uh, let him get in it and see this bucket sitting here <laughs> that would be hilarious <laughs> you'd have to know this guy <laughs> to know the reaction I would get if he got in here and saw a five gallon bucket sitting here. <laughs> that would be good. Let's see, where has this got to go? Hmm, maybe I do have to use the other base. Not sure if this is going to line up. I need a flashlight. Hey, maybe it will line up. Let's is the other side gonna line up well okay I guess I do need the other base because this is not lining up here
Mm, nope, not lining up. Okay, it looks like I do have to take this base out and replace it with the other one. I hope that the seat is going to go up tall enough because you can see there's a difference in the height here. And that means I'm going to lose storage space under the seat here since that other base sits lower. Oh well. Come on now, get on there. That one was probably the easy one. Oh boy. All right, that one wasn't too bad. What the hell? Why the hell aren't these holes lining up? What the hell? <sighs> okay, this was supposed to be a simple job, but it is not because the holes are not lining up. Why the hell not? I guess what I'm gonna have to do is take the base off, attach that to this mechanism. Alright, I'm turning you off because you don't need to see me trying to line all of this up. I have decided the bucket is the easier option here because the bolt holes just are not lining up on that base. And I have found a black bucket so it kind of fits the interior of the tractor here. Let's see how this bucket works out. Oh yeah. That's uh, just about the perfect height there on this bucket. Hey, I kind of I kind of like that. This this may be the new seat for this tractor. I'll have to check with my driver to see how he likes this idea. All right, let's see if this is going to work. What I ended up doing, going back to the original brackets that were in the tractor, drilled some new holes, not in the bracket, but in the uh, seat suspension part itself. Hopefully these holes here are gonna line up with my bolts there. Let's see how this works out. Aha, okay, that goes on there. This might be okay. And I tried to, 
move this uh, suspension part up on that bracket so it sits a little bit closer to the front similar to the old seat that was in here i guess i should not tighten these bolts down on the side until i figure out how that seat is going to sit because i may have to take it off and drill some new holes so we'll just hand tighten these nuts on here and i guess i should hook up my wire before i put the seat on here and it appears they have sent us a fit all wire that should fit everything let's see if it fits my tractor okay that works Now, let's see how the seat goes in here. So I see some uh, pre-tapped holes here. Two there, two there, two there, two there. Uh, they sent the bolts, I think, to screw in those holes. And, all right, last piece of the puzzle is the seat. I have a couple of choices with holes. In this seat, so I'm kind of guessing here on where it's going. I may have to move uh, those holes up. And okay, new seat is installed. Um, it's hitting against the back of there. Uh, not quite as comfortable as the original seat that was in here, and that's because the lumbar, the seat is not long enough. It's not coming up here under my knee like that other one is. But at least it's a good sturdy solid seat. That other seat had gotten to the point it was wobbly. It wasn't holding air pressure. Just a lot of play in it. So this will do. I don't I'm not sure that the back is up. And the back mm, is there an adjustment on here? I don't know. Okay, okay. There is an adjustment for the back, so that will help. Uh, okay, not a bad seat. It is a grammar seat. I ordered it from Abilene Machine. I ordered it, um, good golly. It must have been the, the Black Friday sale, maybe. I think they had like 20% off all seats at the time. So it was still about $1,400, maybe. I'm not, I'm not sure of the exact number. It was two months ago when I bought it. Other than uh, the seat not being quite long enough, seems okay. I don't know if it has a float position in it. Ah, there we go. So yes, it does have a float position, forward uh, and backwards only, no sideways. 
uh, but that button there and then it locks it in place I like the float position but it's also nice if it goes side uh, side to side which this one doesn't uh, up and down back and forth and recline on the seat back and then the armrests are adjustable here this right here adjusts where you want the armrest so that's the highest position and and that's the lowest position and it does fold up out of the way now what this seat doesn't have that the original seat had and that is a buddy seat the armrest on this side was a little wider armrest and you could actually fold it in a position that it was flat and level with the seat it wasn't the most comfortable thing to sit on if you had somebody else in the tractor with you but it served the purpose you know for a round or two to show somebody how to operate the tractor uh, they could sit on this armrest that was flat and even with the seat really not a lot of room in this tractor for a buddy seat i think they may make kits for a buddy seat that attaches to this i think i've seen them but um never really had a need for them in here so that's that's what we're giving up with this uh, new seat i'll leave the plastic on for a while try to keep the seat looking new let me remember to turn the key off so the battery doesn't go dead okay let me tighten all my bolts up and then uh, this project will be finished one other thing that the seat has as i'm tightening the bolts up and now i realize it does have a uh what is this a lumbar adjustment so on the back uh mid back you can turn this and it will adjust your uh, lumbar here okay boys and girls if you are playing along at home i want to show you the part number for the actual seat so this is the gray seat that i just put in the tractor and i think this is abilene machines part number ams s11007 then you do have options of suspension so i did get the air ride suspension and that number is AM 1319704. And just to point out a few of the minor differences, uh, this is the seat that came out. This is the armrest I was talking about that folds down even with the seat. There's a cable in here, I think, that had either broken or come um, unattached because this armrest was not. Uh, now I can't get it to do it. The armrest was not staying in this position. It was kind of just flopping down like that. So that was one of the reasons I decided to replace the seat. Um, the seat was just kind of getting some play in it. Uh, but you know what, let's get a tape measure just to measure the difference in the length of the seat. I guess if we go from the back there, we've got uh, 19 and a half inches and if we go up here so what did i say 19 and a half go to the back there and we've got uh 17 inches so two two and a half inches difference in the length of it this seat had a swivel on it that seat does not have a swivel and then this lum um well i guess that's the back lumbar it did have a leg lumbar, so the front of this seat would actually lift up, uh, turn this knob, not, oh, I guess it will, okay, it's down now, and anyhow, this does raise up. I can't um, do it with one hand and holding the camera. So this part did raise up to give you some uh, relief under your legs if you needed it. Uh, so those are the differences. The length of the seat, it does, it, this one did have the, the back lumbar right there. Turn that one there, and that would shove that out. Uh, this doesn't have the taller back on it like that seat does. This one swiveled, that one did not. And uh, I can't remember if this one had side to side isolation. No, just front to front isolation. Uh, on this but that's all part of the base there okay 
in case you were interested. Those are the differences. Oh yeah, that new seat is a Grammar seat, G-R-A-M-M-A-R. They seem to be the most popular uh, aftermarket seats, although I think they actually make original equipment seats as well, but they're kind of the industry name for seats. Looking at this, Sears, Sears Manufacturing is what uh, uh, the initial manufacturer of this seat. Hey, we've got a date on here. Date, a clock number, and a time. But I can't really read it. But this tractor was manufactured in 1991. I bought it in 2000. So it looks like that could be a... I think that's a 1290 is what it looks like to me. 1290. So that's when the seat was manufactured. As I said, I believe the tractor year is a 1991. All right, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this seat. Maybe save it for my museum. Put that seat in my museum. I, I don't know. It's really no other use for the darn thing. It's worn out. That's why I replaced it. I've done the project correctly because I have leftover parts here. I'm not sure what the heck these parts here are for. This, this thing spins around inside. It's a threaded threaded nut of some type. I don't know because there were no instructions that came with the seat or the base as far as assembly goes. I just got a package of bolts. This QR, this QR code did not come up for me. So I don't know if that is just a, uh, some type of internal QR for the manufacturer, but I could not get that to bring up anything. There was a QR code on one of the boxes for the seat as well, and nothing came up there for me. But anyway, project is done right because I have leftover pieces, so that's always good. Oh man, I don't think I've mentioned the temperature today. Look at that, 65 degrees today. Uh, this is Thursday, January 25th. Last week uh, we had snow, low temperatures. What did we get down in the low 20s? Mid-teens, upper 20s? I, I forget. It was, it was cold and we had some snow this week, 65 degrees outside. Wow, this is what makes people sick. Okay, I think I'm out of here for the day. Thank you.